Academy where we will be presenting humanoid, uh, humanoid themed robots. And first, and first we have to have our MCs come up. So for today and week, we did a theme of humanoid. We made walkers, high bots, and um, more robots like those. So. Um, so first, I'll, so first is me with the um, spy bot. difficulties.
That is the spinning track. I mean, that's the tractor. So this breakdancing robot is NOR EV3 or we do 2.0. This is a different type of group of Lego engineering called Spike Prime, which is a mixture of we do and EV3. As you can see, this has a flashlight for a head. Its arms will move, will rotate around, its legs will move side to side. Here's a demonstration. And then after five seconds, it would switch directions. And that's what I would, and also it breaks, just like how it says it's do. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's kind of hard to tell when it will. And we already tried, fix we already tried fixing it. When we're trying to fix it, but sometimes it doesn't do that. Does not work at the moment because I was built. 
but there is still a color sensor, and yeah, that is the humanoid. So what you're about to see on the TV is going to be part a house that is still in progress. But the house is so this is called Oh well this what we're building is gonna be a modern mansion. This is called megabricks.com and the reason why we're using this app is because it is Legos, but say that here we don't have the pieces, we could go in here and we could build whatever we were trying to build in real life, and we could just build it out of pieces from here. See, this is the mansion that we're working on. Right now we're building the um, roof for one side of it, but the one side of it and so yeah, say that I would just click right here and then there would be a piece. Right here, I could move it up, side to side, downwards, left and back. And also, I can turn the brick around so the brick would go with the dimensions that I would want to be at. And you can lift it so then you would place it on here and do it in whichever way you would like. Another way you can do it is another way you can do it instead of having to drag it all the way up here over and over again. So say since I have this clicked on right now, if I just were to click a brick, the brick's not there, but it is. It's just right here. And it can oh, well this brick was too big. 
Which breakfast do you make, sorry? Sounds like what she did get yes, some candy. Oh, it's it's back face. Oh, it's either use back face or if you have certain computers that still eat. But for this computer in particular, it is backspace. And sometimes it's going to be extremely hard, sometimes it can be extremely easy. It's just that it takes a tiny bit to get the hang of it, but once you do get the hang of it, it becomes extremely easy. Oh, you can also put many figures on there, but you have to build it, which I cannot do. I don't know if anybody else can. I cannot. Yes, it is extremely hard to make the minifigures. And the dimensions are still messed up. I can fix that, so. And, yeah, but, yeah, try to play it. So, so far, 